defending your religious freedom. Here is Dr. Chaps. Welcome back, I'm Dr. Chaps. If you're on social media at all, like I am on Facebook, um, you have probably seen the leftist splody heads all exploding, as Sarah Palin used to say, <laughs> because of President Trump's controversial comments about injecting disinfectants. He was not talking about chemical disinfectants or, or Lysol or Clorox or any of that. No, the president never said that we should inject bleach to fight the coronavirus, never said it. What he did talk about was an up and coming new technology using ultraviolet light, not chemicals, but light disinfectant that can actually, within seconds of ultraviolet light contact with the coronavirus, defeat and kill the virus, and hence disinfect that. And using that technology, including O3, ozone, or, or there's various forms of this, can actually clean out a person's lungs from the coronavirus. Now, the left-wing media is exploding against Donald Trump for daring to misspeak in his words. Trump later said he was being sarcastic. But did you know a week before Trump's comments that ABC News declared that ultraviolet light actually does work in defeating the spread of the coronavirus? ABC News reported over a week ago that a researcher at Columbia University says he may have a public health breakthrough in the fight against the novel coronavirus. Dr. David Bremer has discovered that a certain kind of light can kill airborne viruses, including some types of coronavirus, if it's a light that's spreading around a room, right, illuminating the room. Well, Trump took that one step further just to inquire, not to prescribe, but to inquire as to whether that same technology could be used intravenously inside of a human. But outside of a human, it's now confirmed. UV light does kill the virus. As the director of the Center for Radiological Research at Columbia University, Bremer has been studying ultraviolet light, also known as UV rays, with a potential life-saving weapon against the spread of viruses. Not just the coronavirus, but any virus may be uh, killed by this. UV light is known for its germicidal killing properties and has also been used to clean equipment in hospital areas. So instead of wiping down all the surfaces, maybe this light could be an added safety factor. But it is dangerous to humans because it can penetrate the skin and cause cancer. Well, all of you using tanning beds have been aware of that problem for a long time, as well as the possibility of cataracts. So don't be in the same room when they're using the UV light. However, that's not the case with a narrow band of UV light called far UVC light. There are special kinds of UV light that don't cause cancer or cataracts. Dr. Brenner said the following, quote, it can't get through any of the living cells of our skin, that's why it is safe for human exposure, end quote. Earlier this year, Dr. Brenner was testing the ability of far UVC light, that's the safe kind, even if humans are exposed to it, and that light could kill airborne viruses in preparation for the upcoming flu season. When the coronavirus outbreak hit, of course he was studying this even before COVID-19, Brenner ran additional tests to determine whether far UVC light kills those viruses in the air as well. Far UVC light is being tested against the coronavirus at the Columbia University Irving Medical Center and Manuela Bonanno, Columbia University Irving Medical Center, Dr. Brenner said the following, quote, we saw that we can kill 99% of the coronavirus with a very low dose of far UVC light, end quote, and that's the kind of light that is safe to humans, doesn't cause cancer or cataracts. Dr. Brenner's team also tested two seasonal coronaviri that's Latin plural for viruses, by the way, and is currently testing the current strain. The latest COVID strain, SARS-CoV-2, he said the following quote, there's no reason to believe it's going to be different from these results, end quote. So even the newest version, the B strain, the C strain, the 
the XYZ strain of the coronavirus, they're all killed by this UVC light. Lamps using far UVC light are currently in production and awaiting FDA approval. And Dr. Brenner envisions them being used in public places, even like airports and train stations, as well as hospitals and schools. And that's the news reported by ABC News a week before they blamed Trump for, for praising the virtues of UV light. This proves the mainstream media are hypocrites. When they praise the virtues of this technology a week before Trump says it, and then when Trump says it, they throw him under the bus saying, you can't say that. You can't say we're injecting UV light like a disinfectant, not a chemical disinfectant. He never said bleach. He did say in, inject the UV light. And there's technology now of people actually using this to get help, or at least President Trump is calling for further research in the area like any common sense person. If something's working, research it further until the FDA approves it. The Bible says this, predicted this, I think in Isaiah 58, then your light, God, your light shall break forth like the morning. God, your healing shall spring forth speedily and your righteousness shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Take action today. Dr. Chaps needs you to sign an important online petition. Today, I wanna to invite you to sign a critical petition to defend innocent babies and to end abortion in America. On this show, we like to pray and petition God, but we also need you to take action today by petitioning Congress to stop the taxpayer-funded child killing, especially by defunding Planned Parenthood, America's number one abortion provider. Why are your taxes paying to murder innocent children in the womb? Well, if Congress would simply define personhood as life beginning at conception, we can reverse Roe versus Wade. Please join me today by signing this important petition to Congress. Visit PrayInJesusName.org. Again, that's PrayInJesusName.org and sign your petition today. Sign today's petition right now. Again, visit PrayInJesusName.org to sign our petition right now. Dr. Chaps needs your financial support to stay on the air. Would you please send your best donation today? Please visit PrayInJesusName.org to donate online. Or you can mail a check to Pray In Jesus Name Ministries, Post Office Box 77077, Colorado Springs, Colorado 80970. You can also call us toll free right now at 866-Obey-God. That's 866-O-B-E-Y-G-O-D. Please sign up for our free emails at PrayInJesusName.org. Again, that's PrayInJesusName.org.